Hello and welcome to Contractor's Point of View. My name is Gary and today we're going to be taking a look at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now there are two cases that Subcase has come out with. One, as you see here, does not have a hinge guard, which is the one I prefer because it also comes with a holster. So you have this case here, very rugged case, and I'm going to show you this one as well here in just a few minutes. As far as the case is concerned, the fit is very tight. It still allows full function for everything. Uh, the screen works fine. You can see the fingerprint works fine. Everything is there. You can use the other fingerprint. You still scroll on the front screen. I have seen a couple comments that the front screen no longer works because of the touch, because of the built-in screen protector on this. and. I have had zero issues with the front screen working and I'm barely touching it. So it, it works just fine. I haven't had any issues with mine. If you've had issues, please leave a comment down below. Tell us uh, what issues you've had as far as this front screen protector. Would definitely like to look and see what those are. Uh, you can see the camera, nothing gets in the way as far as the case is concerned. So it has full protection. And as you can see, it's raised. So none of your camera lenses will be hitting anything when you drop it. Stick around till the end of this video. Uh, I have a drop test that I can show you. I did throw the phone. I also have a bit of a confession to make. This one does come with its own holster. However, Subcase is not going to like me for this because this is not something that they suggested or anything like I'm just a contractor I like to fix things to make them work the way I want to so this here is the holster that you get it is a very sturdy holster the phone snaps into it and um, you can see there it holds it really well it's not gonna fall out and then has the belt clip on the back here's where I had my issue with the belt clip is for me, it's not a two-hand or it's not a one-handed operation. Uh, I couldn't get it out this end because that's the end it sits in. And then this end, if you push the phone out while it's on your hip, it only comes out to the first half of the phone. And then you've got to find a way to get it out. And you can see it doesn't come out by itself. So then with the second hand, you can pull it out of the phone case. Well, as you might have seen already, this case came with both sides like this built up as a tray that the phone sits in. I myself cut this out so that the phone could now slide in from the top. So now it doesn't have this side and I will tell you if you do this subcase will not honor your warranty for replacement if you break the clip. But as far as getting it out and putting it back in you can't beat it it works great and it's not gonna fall out it, it's going nowhere so this clip is super heavy duty super heavy duty uh, something else so anyway like I said uh, only do this if you must and it's very precision you have to cut it out really uh, nice uh, if you have like a little bow saw or something like that um, but that's only my recommendation if you need it to slide in and out like that and also subcase does not endorse that so that's the clip uh, something I didn't show you yet is the uh, case does come with a kickstand so you can stand it like that you can open it and it'll stand like that it will not stand like that or like that so you can watch it at a slight angle or you can close it and watch it at the full angle. The clip does also act as kind of a ring. My finger doesn't fit all the way in because it's a little big, but you can use the front of the phone like this and do the things you need to to get there. So it does act as sort of a ring. So let's go into this part. I'm going to show you how to remove this one and then we can put this one on. There's both comparing them side by side. So I like to start up in the corners on the inside and just peel it off. 
Now something else that this comes with that I actually like, um, I do like the built-in screen protector and then there is adhesive here on this front part of the case because that tends to be a little flimsy on these phones because they made the screen take up most of the front. With that adhesive it holds it in place really well. All right, so that's that case. And by the way, I love the green. Okay, so green is my favorite so far. So let's get into this one. This is the one that holds the S Pen. Um, as you can see, I still have the paperwork there with it. It comes with a spectacular box. Uh, everything's set up in it. So this is the UB Pro. I called this one the wrong name, I'm sorry. This one's just Unicorn Beetle, subcase Unicorn Beetle case does not have hinge protection. This is the Unicorn Beetle Pro, and as you can see here, it has hinge protection and the S Pen holder. Okay, so to get the phone in, snap this bottom, okay? Get it seated, seated in there pretty good, and then you start to peel this around the front edge. Now it's tight, and it's gonna stay there. Then, to put the front on, kind of need to close it a little because the hinge gets the hinge protection gets in the way just a touch so you do it the same way you slip it on in one spot and then you work it around and then you squeeze it on make sure it's all the way seated back same thing on this side and there you go so it looks very similar to the other case as you can see except it does not have the hinge protection and the hinge protection allows you to store your S Pen so you can get your S Pen out really nice and easy pops back in everything's there and some have asked uh, does the S Pen work on the front and it does not which seems to be the dumbest decision Samsung made but you have the S Pen protection it opens up your fingerprint sensor still works everything still works inside and uh, close it up and boom look at that so you still have the same kickstand we'll hold it like that or when it's open it'll hold it like that it does not support it vertically in the other form this here does not come with a clip unless you make this modification and it'll slide right in there just the same just the same okay so this is super cool so you can get the hinge protection if that's something you need and you can still put it in the clip. Granted, you have to buy this one to get the clip because they don't sell the clip with this one. However, I think after seeing this video, maybe they can uh, modify this clip. And as you can see, it comes right out, goes right in. Spectacular right here. I mean, this is awesome. Now, my preference is I don't use the S Pen, so I don't need that extra protection. However, if you feel like you're in a uh, rough environment to where you might drop the phone and it's an issue, I do recommend this one because you've got your hinge protection, full body protection, raised camera, guard, all that stuff. So I recommend this for the more rugged environment. This one here, I like better just because I don't use the S Pen and I'm not too worried about the hinge. That's my choice, this one here. But if you need the case and you want extra protection, yeah, you're probably gonna have to buy both. So yes, it will slide in. And like I said, now, one last thing before we go is this one here does not sit flat. Okay, so when you lay it, you've got that hinge cover that's keeping it from laying flat. If you have a car mount that requires the phone to sit flat, okay, like that, then this one is your choice because this one does not lay in a car mount unless you close it like this and have that in your car mount, okay? So keep that in mind. Even though you might want the S Pen holder, if you drive with your phone open like this, it will not sit flat because you can see it's raised and that's how it will sit in your car mount if you do have a car mount and you do use the phone open in the car mount then this is your choice 
very rugged still and um, you may have seen while I'm moving this around that I have some scratches right there uh, that was my doing and it wasn't even either one of these cases I had it in a different case while I was testing it and then I scraped against the concrete wall no harm no foul not uh, any problem with these but if I would have had this uh, hinge protector it definitely would have made a difference in a nutshell S pen holder full body protection no S pen holder still has all the same features except this one comes with the belt clip this one does not come with the belt clip I modified the belt clip so it will work with both okay so we're gonna get into the drop tests now take a look at this This is the phone, so if you want to see it, get this case off. The front one's a little difficult because of that sticky tab on the back. No abrasions, no hits, no cuts. That was my doing. As I said, back is in perfect condition. Edges are in good condition. There is nothing wrong with this phone after being thrown. So you might see right there the screen protector was pulling up. That was a different case I was using and uh, caused it to pull these do not and as you can see the factory screen protector can stay on while using these hope you learned something hope you like these cases i definitely uh, uh, i'm kind of torn now that this one fits in here i really want to have that just in case i need the s pen for something but this is my choice i really like this case uh, of the two because i don't mind if it doesn't have hinge protection as i show you my scratched hinge all in all these are really good cases for the z fold 3 super protection awesome case until next time stay safe out there